subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello viewers welcome to the fast profits daily myself brijesh vadia nifty has reclaimed the 17000 levels again after the uh, lows of 15671 If I compare uh, Dow Jones and Nifty, Nifty has seen around uh, 10 plus percentage recovery from the lower levels. While uh, if I look at the Dow Jones, it's up about uh, eight, eight and a half percent from their lower levels. So here, the uh, Indian markets are very, very outperforming against uh, the U.S. markets, and not only really Indian markets. If I look at most of the Asian markets, uh, they are. Uh, coming back very very strongly and the technical structure indicates that uh, asian markets uh, are uh, well uh, uh, ready to go higher and outperform uh, against uh, the uh, american and european markets so let's look at uh, the chart by chart what the uh, most of the indices uh, are indicating so let's start with the dow jones which is uh, being followed globally and if i look at the dow jones chart over here uh this is a weekly chart and if you look at the orange line it's 89 weekly exponential moving average and uh, most of them uh, uh traders or investor follow 50 days 100 days or 200 days uh, i follow 89 days on uh, dow jones as well as indian markets because uh, on a weekly scale of 89 uh, it takes a huge support and uh, tends out to be a, a, a extraordinary momentum uh, as uh, the trend uh, setups uh, 18 and also comes as if i look at the weekly scale it comes to around 1.6 for 1% uh, of the uh, weekly so generally we have 52 uh, uh, weeks in a year uh, if i look at the 1.618 uh, years so it's uh, less than 2 years and it also plays a key important role so that's the reason i take 18 and as a weekly exponential moving average now if you look at the momentum over here uh it took support right at 89 uh, week exponential moving average it formed bullish harmonic ab equal to cd uh, and importantly if you look at the candlestick pattern the hammer candle was formed right at around 89 exponential moving average with bullish uh, ab equal to cd harmonic pattern uh since the hammer two weeks went into the consolidation and uh, the last week we saw a huge uh, comeback by the dow jones Uh, look at the uh, follow up candle which was very very bullish so uh, dow jones again uh, being followed globally is indicating a bullish structure over here let's move on to the asian indices and start with japan uh, the nikkei 225 index if you look at uh, the uh, highs of 2018 2019 2020 has been retested again on the uh, nikkei after a strong uh, comeback into the 2020 2020 was slightly uh a sluggish for japan but uh now it is been retesting 200 weekly exponential moving average plus the previous supports and now if you look at the rsi on the lower panel it been uh taking uh into the oversold zone or signing of a reversal into the uh, oversold zone so the tide is turning on the positive side for rsi with uh, price action showing a uh, good support area uh with uh, weekly averages and uh, trending on the bullish side okay uh straights uh, from the singapore uh, if you look at this chart uh, again a breakout happened uh, into the uh, horizontal channel uh, it went higher retested went below the uh, upper band of the channel but just still holding the lower band which indicates that uh, the breakout has not yet failed Uh, the structure is still bullish, and if you look at again, 200 is week, weekly exponential moving average playing its part on the streets as well. Again, this is a second chart from streets which indicate that uh, the support is very very stronger. Now, if you look at this is Ichimoku uh, indicator on the uh, technical axis, and if you look at the circles over there. uh the circles are marked when the price is tested the cloud which is very very bullish and when the clouds are bullish as per the ichimoku uh, ichimoku uh, uh, indicator it indicates that the bullish structure is still intact on the weekly scale so i believe uh, japan street and uh, the streets from the singapore both are indicating a bullish momentum let's move on to the south korea now uh, the kospi uh look at the similar structures over here uh, the 2018 uh, highs has been retested uh, we we saw 2020 uh, one of the most outperforming uh, 
index into the Asian indices as well. But since then, it lost momentum. Now, the breakout has been retested. 200 weekly exponential moving average taking a, a support area. Plus, again, RSI back from the oversold zone uh, heading higher. Uh, indicates that the cost is still into the bullish zone and the support area is playing its part. Hang Seng, uh, back to the uh, Hong Kong. Uh, look at the bullish AB equal to CD right at the previous swing lows. Uh, now it will be acting as a very, very strong support. And look at the uh, last week's momentum uh, right from the somewhere sub 18,000 levels to sub 21,000 levels. Uh, a V-shape recovery and uh, since 2000, uh, I guess in even not in 2020, we saw such kind of momentum coming on a weekly scale from the Hang Seng. But uh, again, there are geopolitical news or something else. But uh, looking at the technical structure, I believe the reversal is very, very crucial and it indicates the momentum is into the bull's court. Okay. Coming on to our domestic, the BC uh, index, which is the Nifty. Uh, look at the nifty this is the weekly scale right at 89 weekly moving average we saw bullish uh, engulfing uh, taking its uh, on the candlestick structure uh, indicates that the momentum is still onto the bullish side uh, though we saw a huge selling pressure coming out from 18,600 uh, levels to 15,600 levels on the back of Russia Ukraine war but the now the uh, indication is that the bulls are holding onto the uh, strong support zone Second, if I look at the daily chart over here on your screen, uh, we broke out the uh, falling channel structure. Uh, the gap has been taken out. Okay, uh, it's been a slight resistance where uh, the Nifty has been resisting at 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of 18,352, uh, 15,671, found bearish and gulping, but the, uh, the structure of bullish head and shoulder plus the channel breakout plus the gap area indicates that the bulls are still in control. In case you're not following me on Telegram channel, do follow me there because I share the Nifty charts regularly over there or the indices charts where I think the opportunity is there. Uh, I have posted the Nifty uh, hourly chart which highlights that the structure is very, very bullish as of now onto the Nifty. And dip is an opportunity uh, for a traders to accumulate uh, the outperforming stocks and uh, I'm expecting Nifty to head higher again because looking at the weekly and daily scales, uh, the setups are very, very strong and Asia indices uh, outperforming again is an opportunity uh, for Nifty and Nifty is one of the leader uh, into the Asian indices uh, indicates that the momentum is very, very stronger. One chart I want to sh uh, show you over here is the Sensex versus MSCI Emerging Market Index. Uh, now, if you look at uh, India, as I said, India has been outperforming by a huge margin against uh, the emerging markets for now. If you look at the uh, box breakouts happening and Sensex is being outperforming against the emerging market, uh, we have somewhere around 12% weightage of the India into the emerging market index and uh, is still being hugely outperforming. So, as I said, Asia is one of the leading indices. Nifty is gaining a strong upside momentum. Other Asian indices are back from the support zone uh, or 200 weekly exponential moving average. They are coming back very, very strongly, which could uh, see Asian indices or Asian markets heading higher and may outperform against the uh, US and European markets. So stay long onto the uh, Asian markets. Use the dips as an opportunity to go long into the markets and follow me on the Telegram channel where I post uh, charts regularly on the nifty or indices or any sectoral play uh, which comes uh, regularly as an opportunity so that as a trader or as an investor you can follow such kind of stocks signing off Bridges Bhatia